Ahoy there, YouTube! I'm back again today for another game review. And today I'm very excited to check it out. Wordoku, fun spelled out from Calliope Games. This is for one to six players. Age is eight plus. It'll take about 20 to 30 minutes to play. And in Wordoku, you are going to be playing a gamery version of Boggle. You're going to have 16 letters in front of you, and you're going to be trying to construct those letters into a 4x4 four four grid to score the most points. But it's not that simple because on each of those letters, there's also going to be a symbol. And if you can have four different symbols in each row, then you're going to score double for that row or for that column. What am I talking about? Let's open it up and I'll tell you how it works. All right, then we're going to take a look at what you're going to get inside of Wordoku. So first of all, we're going to a handy dandy rule sheet. It is uh, two big pages, double-sided, full color, full of pictures, illustrations, examples. It's very well done. It should have you up and running in no time at all. And also I can teach you the game right now because it is a very easy game to learn and to teach. So in Wordoku, you are going to be playing a word game. Think of it like a gamery version of Boggle. You are going to have 16 letters that you're going to get each round. And you're going to try and score the most points with these 16 letters. You're going to have five minutes to arrange these letters however you see fit. But it's not going to be that easy as just spelling, you know, four letter words here, four letter words there, and a three letter word here. Because this has a Sudoku aspect with these symbols. Because if you are able to have a row or a column that has uh, a Sudoku of all four different symbols, so this would be a Sudoku, 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 but obviously these would not be because you have one symbol here, one symbol here, one symbol here, one symbol here. That row of scoring is going to score you double. So normally if you had a two-letter word like no, you would only score two points. But if this was no right here, this was an N and this was an O, you would score four points because that's a Sudoku. So let's let's just run you through a mock and you'll see exactly how it goes. But let's get to the components. Let's get to the gameplay first. So first, you're going to get this really nice bag, which is completely unnecessary. It just holds the tiles. But still, super nice bag. So thumbs up on having a nice bag. I'm a fan of that. Next, you're going to get these victory point tiles here. And these are how you are going to win the game. As you will see, there are two different kinds. So first, these are the victors. So you're going to play over the course of three five-minute rounds, unless you're playing uh, the crazy hard mode, which I'll talk a little bit about later. Uh, so you're only going to have three people who are going to win each round, and they'll get one victory point for winning a round. But the really unique aspect to this game is if you improve on any of your high scores, so let's say you scored uh, 20 in the first round and then you scored 22 in the second round, you're going to get one of these improvement tokens right here, a personal best token. So if you scored 20, 22, 24, you're going to end the point, end the game with a guaranteed two victory points because you improved on your high score twice, which is really kind of a unique thing. And I'll show you how that works in a little bit. So Last but not least, you're going to get these black tiles right here. These are the crazy hard difficult tiles. If you mix these into the game, then you will start with a 5x5 five five grid. So instead of making a 4x4 four four grid, you'll be play, playing with a 5x5 five five grid. But as you can see, these are like Zs and Xs and Vs and Ws and really difficult to use letters. So let's just start this up. Now there is a very nice app that they have which will count down the five minutes. It'll even warn you like when you have a minute left. And it's a very useful app and I do recommend using it, but the app is currently on my iPad, which is what I shoot my videos with. So let's show you exactly how it works. So let's just pretend we start our five minutes and I'm gonna everyone's going to flip over all of their tiles and then they're gonna start making words with the tiles. Now, one thing I do want to mention is you really want to make sure that you're focusing on getting Sudokus, especially when you first start the game, because if you have a four-letter word, which is a Sudoku, then bada-boom, you are immediately going to start with eight points. Now, there's two other things that you'll be able to do here. So let's just say I'm looking at this pile, and I'm like, man, what am I going to do with two... Two, I have four S's. That's just too many S's. I'm not happy with having all these S's. If that's the case, once per round, you'll be able to get rid of one of your tiles during the five minutes while you're doing it, and then set it over to the side, and then draw another tile of the same symbol. Now, that's not going to cost you any penalty, so now I have three S's and an L, which obviously is a little bit of a better hand. So let's just see if we can make some words. So uh, we'll start off with this, this G right here. And uh, then we got an O, so we have uh, go, but we have two different symbols here, so that's a good start. Uh, let's see, I have the L over here, which means uh, I, all I need left is, so I have square, clover, star, I need a circle. So hogs, hogs, yeah, so there we go. So I could make the word 
hogs. Now, as you can see, since those have four different letters there, uh, four different symbols there, I'm going to score eight points for that. So that's a great start to it. Now, I don't, I don't do the points right now because I'm obviously playing. So I have to fill in this four by four grid. So now let's start looking somewhere else. And let's see. I got, uh, let's see, Bo ba, Bass. Yeah, maybe I might do bass right here i could do bass but at the same time i wouldn't be completing a sudoku so how about instead we did best now i know you're saying uh that'd be great on all force but you don't have a t well that's another thing that you can do on your turn is that you are going to be able to flip over any one of these tiles and turn it into a wild tile and you can do this as many times as you want during a round but you don't score any points for that particular tile so right now i need a square so i might take this d i might flip it like that and i'm going to say this is a t now so best which means I did complete the Sudoku, but instead of scoring eight points, I'm actually only going to score six points. So two for this, two for this, and two for this. Also, another thing to note is that this, this T is locked in place uh, this way. So this has to be a T when I'm going over here. So let's see what we got next. I might just go with, uh, go for some short stuff. No, let's go here. So do, do, do. La load? Can I do load? I can do load, and I got the D. Is that a Sudoku? It's not a Sudoku. Oh, that's actually not how you spell load. I'm a. <laughs> oh my gosh! Let's pretend you didn't see that, people. Uh, so yeah. How about instead I just go with? I'm just gonna fill this in. We're just gonna do some short stuff. So we'll go with uh, so, and because that is the rule that has to be at least a two-letter word. And up here we'll just go with uh, pal because. Is that Sudoku? Yeah, that is a Sudoku. So that actually was great. So that Sudoku right there is going to score me six. And then we'll just, oh, there we go. We know we all know what that spells. That was completely unintentional, I swear. Uh, and then down here, we probably don't have anything going on. So we'll just go ahead and do uh, that. So, boom. We'll just say that's what I come up with at the end of the round. Because if time runs out and you don't have all your letters filled in, it's really bad. You have to put the letters in backwards and they don't score anything for those particular letters. Just don't let that happen. Do not let that happen. So now we come over here to our handy dandy little uh, player aid card. Now each one's going to, or not player aid, but your scoring card. You've, each player is going to get this. And it, it looks daunting. You're looking at this like, what in the heck is going on here? But it's actually quite simple. And it even tells you uh, some of the rules in the game. You got the wild letters. Uh, so you got down here the tile swap. So let's take a look. So first we're going to start with our crossword. So one across would be PAL, so P-A-L, and that's going to score me not three points, but six points because I did a Sudoku. So bada boom, I'd put six right there. Over here we have ASS, which was completely un unintentional, but as you can see, since I did not complete the Sudoku with two stars, it only scores three points. Here we have Hogs, which does complete a Sudoku, so that is eight points. So we're off to a really good start right there. And then nothing down here, so that's going to score us zero. And now we're gonna go down. Uh, I think paw is a word. I'm going to give myself the benefit of the doubt here. And we would get two. Uh, so right here. So that's going to give us two points. We didn't complete a Sudoku there. And then over here we have nothing. And then over here we had best, which we did complete the Sudoku. But we don't score any points for the wild down here. So we're going to score two, four, six points for there. So for this particular round, I would have scored 10, 18, 21, 27 points, which might have won me the round. Uh, we'd score everyone's points. Whoever has the most points is going to be the victor for this round. Next, you're going to take all these tiles. You're going to put them back in the middle. You're going to mix them up a little bit. You're going to draw your 16 new tiles, making sure you have four of each symbol. And then you're going to rinse, wash, and repeat. But once you get to the scoring phase of the next round, if I were to get at least 28 points, I would be guaranteed to get one of these improvement tokens. And if I also won the round, I could potentially win both of these. But you're going to go over the course of three rounds. Whoever has the most points will be the winner of Wordoku. And that, in a nutshell, is how the game is played. Alrighty then, Wordoku. Fun, spelled out from Calliope Games. What are my final thoughts? Let's go over the pros, let's go over the cons. First, on the con side, it says one to six players. Naughty! This is a two to six player game. They don't even tell you how to play a one player version of the game. Because as you know, if you watch my channel, you know I like to play stuff solo, you know I like to try stuff solo. I suppose you would just go for high score or something like that. So either way, one player version of the game, not something I could particularly recommend, even though it is a good way to learn how to play the game and learn how to score the game. Continuing onward, it is a word game, which is going to turn some people off immediately. But that being said, it's not about who can spell the longest words, because you know what? Hint, the longest word you're going to come up with is four letters. 
Now, another thing that <laughs> some people are going to have a problem with this is if you have analysis paralysis, you might be in for a little bit of a rough sledding here because this one definitely will elicit some analysis paralysis, which is kind of also exasperated by that five minute timer. Now, I personally love with a capital L the five minute timer in this game. But that being said, some people are absolutely going to hate and they're going to be constantly looking at that timer and just I don't know what to do with these letters and freaking out. But I digress. Another con that some people I think are going to have with this game, and in fact, I did have one person who did not like how the scoring worked. Now, I love how the scoring worked, but some people are going to be like a little bit annoyed because if you just come right out of the gate with like 45, 50 points or something crazy awesome like that, you're probably going to lose the game unless you can repeat that task a couple more times. I think it's a great balancing mechanism, but some people, especially I'm going to go with people who are really good at word games, are not going to like how the scoring system in the game works. I do. I love it, though. Any other cons that I have with the game? You know, the bag's completely unnecessary, but that being said, I love the fact that there is a bag, like a nice drawstring bag to hold all the tiles. Oh, the advanced version of the game. I like the advanced version of the game. But, oh my god, I don't think I would ever play with it again unless someone specifically requested it. The reason why is it's going to add more time to the game. And one of the things that I really like about this game is the time length, which I'll tell you about a little bit later. Uh, not to mention, if you have analysis paralysis, adding that extra fifth le uh, the fifth letter to each row and then trying to get Sudokus, oh my gosh, it's just going to set your brain on fire and it's just going to frustrate you. Uh, so yeah, if you have analysis paralysis, definitely I don't think I would recommend playing with a 5x5 grid. Even though I personally did like it, I still don't think I would play with it too frequently. The other cons out of the game? No, moving on to the pros, I really enjoyed Wordoku, and I can very easily recommend this game if you like word games. It's just that simple. If you like word games, I think you're going to like this game. There's a couple big reasons why. First, big player count. Two to six players. Ignore that one to six player thing. Two to six players, you can easily play this with six players. And if you're playing with the six players, it doesn't add that much extra time to the game, especially if everyone knows how to score because the rounds are set. They're five minutes or they're ten minutes if you're playing the five by five grid. I'm a big fan of that. I love the fact that when I teach this game, I'm like, we will be done in about 25 minutes to 30 minutes tops with this game because it's easy to learn, it's easy to teach, the rule booklet's well done. Uh, I'm a big fan of all that. And I just like the concept of the game. I like the concept of, oh, you know, uh, trying to figure out the puzzle. And this is kind of like a puzzly game. Yes, it is a word game, but I almost consider it to be more of a puzzly game. I like the fact that you're able to trade out one tile. I like the fact that you're able to uh, able to have up to four wilds that you can put out there. But at the same time, those four wilds are not going to score you any points. But they might still score you more points because they'll allow you to complete Sudoku and complete a word at the same time. And overall, I just feel like the game is very cleverly designed. But my favorite aspect of the game, hands down, even though the time length is something that I really, really like, and the high player count is something that I really, really like, is how the scoring system worked. And that was actually, I did an interview at Origins with this game, and how the scoring system worked immediately intrigued me to this game because it just seems like a really brilliant way to level the playing field with people who might be really good at word games because you don't just score points for how many points you have or for you know for for blowing off the roof and getting like a 35 40 point thing you get points just for improving yourself and especially at those higher player counts just improving yourself twice maybe winning one round is probably going to be enough to do and win the game and i personally really like that aspect of the game not too many games I can't think of any, really, reward you with the victory points just for self-improvement. And with this game, self-improvement is not, you know, because I played the right card at the right time or because in a random event did this. No, self-improvement is actually self-improvement. You did better this round than you did the first round. Here's a pat on the back. Here's a victory point. I like that. I think that's a really cool idea. Uh, oh, the last kind I have of the game is score pads. I wish the score pads would maybe, they more maybe were able to do more than one player on each one or something like that because you're going to go through these score pads pretty quickly, especially if you like the game. Now, that being said, they are double-sided, which is nice, but still, you know, I, I hope in the future they add maybe like a score pad to the app. I think that would be a great idea, especially if it's, it's popular. Put a score pad on the app so you can keep track of the score on the app. Ooh, 
do that, Calliope. That would be cool. But overall, we're do we're Doku. Fun spell out from Calliope Games. This is a very easy recommendation for me. It scratches a lot of the itches that I like. It goes up to six players. That's fantastic. It's easy to learn. It's easy to teach. It's different. I like the scoring system in the game. It's a fun little word game that I can definitely recommend. Now, is it my favorite word game? No. I still think Letter Tycoon is a better game than that than this game but this game is shorter it's easier to explain and and i i honestly don't think you can go wrong with either of those games so we're doku fun spell out definitely one i can recommend if you were in the market for a word game if you enjoyed this review please sure to click on that subscribe button down below in the comments below let me know what is your favorite word game of all time i already told you that so i probably just you know should think of something else uh, but I can't off the top of my head, so I'm just going to go with Letter Tycoon, even though this is definitely, I think, a close second. Now, but let me know in the comments below what is your favorite word game, and as always, thanks for your time, YouTube.